Hey guys, it's JP Gloria, and today we're going to analyze the way Allison Felix runs. She's an incredible sprinter who has won multiple Olympic and World Champion titles. She is also the only female to have ever won six gold Olympic medals in track and field. I am super excited to break down and analyze her running and take a little peek on what makes her so fast. As always, let's start with the foot and work our way up. If you look closely, she lands right around the forefoot area. Landing around this area decreases the amount of stress put on the ankle joint and improves active push off from the leg muscles. Also, when landing on the forefoot, there is decreased distance required to roll over the foot, leading to slightly increased rate of steps aka cadence. Now even though she lands this way, foot landing is something you should not force. It's usually best to let it happen naturally. Instead of focusing on foot strike, what I'd usually rather focus on is where the foot lands in relationship to the body's center of mass. To make this more clear, people tend to bring more attention to this by focusing on where the foot lands in relation to the hips. Now the typical cue is to focus on having the foot land under the center of mass, and that cue is not entirely true at all, and it is a mistake some people believe. Even I made this mistake before as well. Through research, what people have found is that unless you are accelerating, it is basically impossible to land with your foot right under your own center of mass. Let's use Allison Felix as an example, and as you can see, her foot lands just a little bit in front of where the body's center of mass should be. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, landing too far in front of the body is considered overstriding, which causes a braking mechanism to occur as the foot touches the ground, resulting in wasted energy and slower speeds. However, when you land just slightly in front of the center of mass, it allows one to utilize the elastic properties of the muscles by allowing us to store energy in the tendon to aid in swinging the leg forward. Now, when comparing Allison's foot landing compared to previous long distance runners I've analyzed before, the foot is still slightly closer to the body center of mass. By doing so, this technically helps reduce the time spent in stride, leading to increased turnover, but in exchange, the time spent on the ground is so short that elasticity cannot be used as effectively. Basically, you are sacrificing efficiency for increased speed, which makes sense in this type of race. Next, we will look at the knees. Now what sticks out to many people occurs in this frame right here, which is the amount of bending at the knee to the point where it is basically right up against the butt. Now the butt kick is something you should not focus on during sprinting. Reason why is that when some people focus on this, it tends to lead to applying too much force vertically, aka over pushing, leading to decreased rate of steps. Also due to the leg having to go from a fully bent position to an extended position, it also increases chances of hamstring injury. Anyway, what you should focus on is knee positioning. For example, take a look at when Allison transitions from toe off phase to the swing phase. Pay close attention to the knee and the thigh. As you can see, instead of going backwards at this moment, the thigh and knee start to go forward instead. This is something typical in elite sprinters as it allows for decreased time spent in the running cycle, allowing for increased step rate and speed when running. Now let's take a look at the hips, specifically the pelvis. I mentioned before that some people tend to over push to where the knee bends so much to where it's basically in line with the butt. When people over push, you also see more vertical displacement, aka increased bouncing. This is not the case for Allison. Drawing a line across the pelvis, notice how little vertical movement is going on as she runs. By doing so, she is minimizing the amount of vertical movement, getting just enough of it for the foot to clear the ground, and really maximizing horizontal movement for increased force directed forward. Now let's move up to the trunk. Looking at this frame, first I want to visualize this for you guys to see how aligned it is. If you are not paying attention to the tilt and focus on the body itself, she actually maintains a pretty upright posture. I've gotten some messages that forward lean is not good, but I think those people misinterpreted what I meant. I agree that forward trunk lean is not good, but what I am talking about is forward lean of the whole body. Looking at this frame as a whole, you can see that her trunk is upright and her whole body is tilted about 20 degrees. This forward lean allows for improved momentum and puts the body in a slightly better position to utilize the hip muscles as the foot pushes against the ground to move forward. Now let's take a look at the arms. As you can see, as Allison runs, most of the movement is coming from the shoulders. There is some rotation of the arms occurring, but not too much where the arms cross the midline of the body. I don't really like to go into specifics with arm movement because of how much variance there is across many elite runners, and they all basically work. As long as the arm swing is used to counter the rotational forces of the legs, so the runner can maintain a relatively straight path as they run, the main purpose of this movement is completed. Finally, moving up to the head, again I don't see many unique things going on here compared to other elite runners, which is never a bad thing. 
She actually keeps her head slightly stabilized as she maintains it in a relatively neutral position as she runs this race. You never really see it go back and forth in this view much at all. Keeping it in a relatively neutral position helps engage the core and prevent excessive movement from occurring in the upper body. And that's a quick analysis on Allison Felix as she runs. There are definitely much more things to talk about in her running form, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of her running starting from the foot to the head. If you guys want to discuss other parts of her running, feel free to leave a comment below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the bell button to see more of my future videos. And as always, thank you for watching.